Shalom Rastafari. Just to speak a little bit on His Majesty, His Divine Majesty, and time. Um, we know that as as the true and living source or God, Elohim, He is. He's timeless. He's outside of time. He's above and beyond time. Yeah, my. He's unseen, but yet in dealing with man and man's fall, he he becomes seen. In dealing with um, man, he 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 becomes limited to time because man is limited to, to time. So his visitation. In the person of Kedamawi Haila Salase must be cited and must be seen within that prophetic um, and, and for lack of a better word, that mystical or uh, that metaphysical overstanding that he is outside of time. But in his revelation as Moa An Besazim Negeta Yehuda, Kedamawi Haila Salase, Suyume. He becomes limited, in other words, by his own will to time to deal with man's to man's fall and restoring the Beta Israel and, and restoring those uh, two families as one to, to make that staff, that stick one in his hand and to fulfill that Davidic prophecy that we have in um, uh, Tinbete uh, Hizkiel, um, um, Ezekiel chapter 37. And, and it's very, very important. Remember, he is he who is, he who was, right, and he who will be. So th- that shows that he is, he, is, he is in time but above time, beyond time. But by his own sovereign and free will, has and is able to make himself manifested, even in man's limited time, um, you know, time dispensation, you know, within the dispensation of man, within man's time. And this is the great revelation of Arastafari, the divinity of his imperial majesty, he who be who he be, he who is who he is the true and living source so my brothers and sisters check that oh shalom rastafari just to speak a little bit on his majesty his divine majesty and time um we know that 